Elon introduced a new vehicle in the Tesla cars and it's quite controversial. When you look at the shape there is nothing like it before and there's some news that are coming to the there's some news about the car that are quite fast I find it quite, quite fascinating. Okay, the first one is that the car the car only costs one hundred dollars for you to pre-order, and there are some two hundred and fifty-eight thousand people that have already pre-ordered, according to Elon Musk tweet. So that's looking good for Tesla. And another thing is that yesterday, uh, an aerodynamic engineer did a. Uh, uh, research on the body shape of Tesla and to the surprise of many it's actually good it's actually a good shape so the engineer's name is called Martin and he did a review on the on the shape of the car let me show you guys a photo Yeah, so he did this review and he took uh, 24 hours to look every shape, every angle of the car. And uh, so let's be honest, you and me we were all expecting this shape to be like uh, not against the wind or something like that. But uh, after his research, he came up with a report that is that is so out of the order yeah it's it has a it has a better shape than it has a more beneficial shape than most sports car and he was even willing to bet his money on it uh, due to the uh, due to many sports cars having downfalls which reduces their speed of the air that's going against it so actually he said this is one of his one of the best cars he has tested so far and it can get an airflow of up to 141 kilometers per hour when the car is doing uh, around uh, 104 kilometers per hour but that's common but it's still a good a good measurement so he, he was just saying that maybe yeah the shape wasn't just that elon Musk wanted something different maybe it might be that they research for a, a better shape than what is commonly available and i Personally, I, I think that this is a it's a good design. People love uh, love things that are different. The only let's say why do someone why why does someone like a Mercedes or something because you don't see it every day. So this car will be good if you if you want something like that. In other news, Google Google is giving out refunds to uh, some people who actually bought their games, and uh, they found out that they were coming, they are becoming free uh, in about a month. So Google is not on the good side of it that it can be. They launched uh, their Google Stadia about two weeks or one week ago. Yeah, Google Stadia. And people are making people are making bad videos and doing some 
bad reviews on their web on their reviews website so they are, they even added some titles which weren't included in the initial launch but still there are some issues that you get when you are using their their console first of all yeah something like uh 4k it doesn't play well it's only an upscaled 1080p yeah okay which you can play a, a full 1080p on maybe playstation pro or xbox one x but considering the price i think uh, you can just uh, you can use it the other issue is that oh okay so when google was asked about that matter they say that uh you need to have the optimal conditions for you to get the games at 4k you need to have a good internet connection and a chromecast yeah and it will play 4k not sure about that yeah that's what they said they said they were happy with developers on their first day they delivered what google was happy with so this is the article yeah he's, he's offering refunds to does who bought farming simulator and tomb raider which are both coming next month to be free yeah that's bad from google but what i can tell you is that uh google isn't entirely wrong i believe they'll be able to even play something like 4k <coughs> or 8k in the next maybe two years the only reason they aren't able to let's say play a 4k 4k game is because the internet connection of people are currently lower but maybe in, in one year or two years uh, some western countries will be having a 4g in their cities which will be like uh which will enable uh, google to even upscale to maybe 8k because the only problem is sending the store the size of size of their bits in the correct time so with that they can achieve a negative latency maybe they can even use ai to to show you what to maybe do what you you might do what buttons you might press or something like that so as for me i, I think google is a google stadia will will not be effective in the next like five years but after that maybe it's only competition will be x cloud and twitch which I'm, I'm thinking twitch might also offer that because they have got data centers and cloud computing almost everywhere in the world through amazon yeah so if you have bought the google stadia you can still keep it in the near future it might be useful but you might even get uh, some refunds in the future like the ones that they did on Google Pixel. Yeah, they gave money to Google Pixel buyers after their data was breached. I'm thinking most likely in the future they'll do something like that. But here are the specifications that they were saying 60 FPS, 4K resolution, HDR, and and uh, surround 5.1. Yeah, that's for a casual gamer. Nowadays, people like to play with 120 FPS. In, in 
multiplayer games which I'm curious they haven't even released uh, uh, you can't even play some games like PUBG or Fortnite so whoever is playing that, those games I, I don't know what they're playing so they should. maybe they will include in the, in the future so that's all for today that's all for today i think in the future we'll be doing other reviews other things that i'll be showing you guys other things that are in the news uh liking this video will okay you can just like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe